Hey guys, Burble Engine 95 recording live from Will County Prison Cell. Don't worry, this isn't some sort of big announcement video. It's just I thought I'd uh, get this upcoming week's video done early because next few days are going to be pretty hectic for me and I'm probably not going to be able to get anything uh, done. Uh, actually, to be honest, I might not be able to cover the Raiden Wolverine uh video uh after it comes out i might not i might be a little late on that might be a, i might have to take a hiatus i hope i don't it, i hope it doesn't come to that but that might be the case uh might might not that's just the way it is like um so because i might not have wi-fi for the next couple of for the next while but uh hope it doesn't come to that but anyway Thought I'd get one more out of the way, and I chose a really shitty one for a possible last video. But, um, yeah, hopefully, if everything, if everything goes well, um, I'll be able to talk about who's fighting next, uh, after Wolverine Ryden. Um, but anyway, the fight I'm going to be talking about today is Kyo Kusanagi from King of Fighters versus Jin Kazama from Tekken. Now, um, I don't see anything that, like, glues these two together as characters that, like, makes them really, like, need to fight each other, but, I mean, there are some similarities. They're both, people call them the mama's boys of their respective series. They both have this, um, they both have this evil lineage, um, they're both emo as fuck, they both, yeah, um, that sort of thing, but, yeah, well, whatever, um, so yeah, let's go through this, let's talk about, uh, Jin Kazama first, now Jin, uh, son of Kazuya, grandson of Heihachi. Um, but the uh, cool thing about yeah, Jin is oh yeah, the other th thing I forgot to talk about. They're both sort of uh, secondary protagonists in the sense that they, in the sense that in the respective series there was a definite protagonist, and then they sort of got the torch passed to them, like in Tekken. Uh, Kazuya was actually the original protagonist, and then Jin sort of, you know, Kazuya became a villain, so they sort of passed the torch on to Jin. Terry Bogard has always been the Fatal Fury King of Fight. well, he's always been the Fatal Fury, uh, protagonist, but then in King of Fighters, he was gonna be the protagonist, but then they passed that on to, uh, Kyo. Anyway, but, uh, Jin, like I said, son of Kazuya, grandson of Heihachi, but Jin, and many people considered Jin to be like a Kazuya clone, um, and in gameplay, I, I can see where they come from that, but there, there are some differences, like, for instance, because Kazuya taught Jin in the Mishima style of, of, of yeah, the Mishima style, uh, oh, fuck it, yeah, the Mishima style of martial arts, um, from when he was a young boy, and then when Kazuya basically flipped his shit, Jin's mother took him away, and, you know, yeah, yeah, took Jin away and raised him by herself, and started teaching her in the Kazama, uh, style of self-defense, so Jin has actually been raised thoroughly with two different martial arts styles, one being you know, Mishima style, which is very aggressive and fucking, you know, and one being a self-defense sort of Kempo-like style, so, you know, it's, he's sort of a, uh, he sort of has the tendency to, to want to tear his opponent apart, but then also want to, want to, you know, like, you know, stay back and be calm and everything, but, um, I would dare to say, Jin, or Jin, yeah, it's like, I'm about to say Jin, Jin, I would dare to say he's, uh, in terms of, like, superhuman feats, he's probably one of the more accomplished characters in Tekken. I mean, this is a guy who 
was tranquilized and then bound up in chains that were meant to suck it, that were meant to drain his, his power. And then after breaking free from that, still under the effects of tranquilization and having his power stolen, he beat his father, his grandfather, back to back. Then, and he was 19 when he did this, beat True Ogre. My last video was about Ogre. This guy beat True Ogre, where he's part dragon, part bull, has an arm made of snakes, shoots fire, that sort of, you know, destroyed a police helicopter, or a military helicopter, my bad. Yeah, this guy's a... F yeah, you didn't beat him without the use, and this was all before he learned to harness his devil gen powers. Or his... Sorry, not devil gen. His devil gene. Because G is G-E-N-E. -E. This is before he learned to harness his devil gene. Uh, which is the... Genetic fucking monster DNA that... I believe it, wasn't it theorized that it was Ogre's blood actually, that it was Ogre's DNA, that, or something like that? I don't know, that might just be a fan theory, but that Heihachi had implanted into Kazuya, and then Kazuya genetically, you know, just because Jin's his son, genetically ended up passing on to Jin. Um, now whereas Kazuya's devil gene is just a big fucking monster with, you know, devil wings and horns and a third eye, and in some cases he actually turns into like a bull demon... Jin's devil devil gene is less like that. He um he grows black angel wings, which allow him to fly. But unlike Kazuya, who shoots laser beams out of his fucking head, um, Jin I I think he can do that as well. But I think Jin I remember Jin doing a lot of like explosion sort of stuff. Like he can just make like explosions up here in midair or something, and if that's the case, then wow, that, I mean, but like I said, this guy is superhuman, he fought Heihachi, who can, who, and I've been over Heihachi's power before, Heihachi who can bite a tomahawk, a steel tomahawk in half, the guy who can power palm people through buildings, like through, like, floors of buildings, yeah, Jin, Jin beat him and Kazuya all in one go. As a matter of fact, he uh, machine gun and pu he's known for machine gun punching people through brick walls. So yeah. Um. So just just basic, just without without even having any superhuman powers or anything. Just, just like his basic form, this guy's able to take on people that, you know, he's able to take on monsters, he's able to take on cyborgs, he's able to take on fucking, you know, like, these amazing levels of people that just no, you know, nobody would be able to do. And then he has the devil gene form on top of that, so, I mean, and then, of course, like Kazuya, he has the power gloves, uh, which... Um, which, it's sort of iffy on what they actually do. Many people believe they actually harness the person's, I don't know if they call it key or whatever in Tekken, but would it, you know, harness their actual power and turn it into electricity. Many people believe that happens, and, um, many people believe it generates its own electricity, and some people believe they're just there to protect your hands, but... The power gloves definitely do something. They definitely are, you know... Yeah, and another another thing passed down from his father, you know... But, uh, despite the fact that Kazuya was still using them... So I guess he just made Jin another pair of them. But, um... Yeah, so... This guy's not only super powerful, but he's also got equipment. Now let's talk about Kyo. Kyo Kusanagi, uh, another guy comes from a horrible lineage, because he is the descendant of Orochi, who he ended up trying to, who he ended up being on a team of people that tried to, you know, kill Orochi. So, a lot of confliction going on there, but being raised in the Kusanagi household of uh, Kusanagi Firestyle Kempo, which combines, you know, actual, you know, mar defensive martial arts with fire, yeah, nothing says self-defense like burn your enemies to fucking ash, right? Um, but anyway, Q 
Keo is basically just a pyrokinetic. I mean, I could go over his actual moves, but it really just comes down to him controlling fire. You know, fire wall, fire blast, fire... It's... It's... He's controlling fire. Uh, he can control a lot of it. He can control it in high degree. But also, like I said, this guy is superhuman in the sense that, you know, he does also... He is the descendant of Orochi. He doesn't have, actually, I don't think, any of Orochi's powers with the exception of just enhanced strength, enhanced speed, durability, that sort of thing. He doesn't, uh, like, he doesn't control nature. He doesn't... You know, like, cut the air in half, right? Like Orochi does. But, you know, he being the descendant of Orochi, he does sort of have that, uh... He does have that edge. So who's gonna win in this fight? Well... I, Jin is definitely gonna need to go into his devil, uh... Devil gene mode. Because... Because uh, Keo has him beat in range. He has him beat in versatility. Even though it's only one element he's using, he's still, that's one more element than Jin can use. Um, not in, but Jin has him beat in martial arts and in just pure, like, power. Right? So Keo's going to be able to keep Jin at a distance and, and, and you know do a good amount of damage to the guy um before Jin goes has to go into his devil Jin mode or devil gene mode well, I promised myself I wouldn't do that um and if that's the case I think Jin sort of got him beat because then you know Jin can fly he can create explosions from nowhere he can shoot lasers he can you know he gains actual superhuman strength enough he gains enough strength to take on his father, Jin, or his, his great-grandfather, Jin Pachi, who, you know, was, who was sealed away beneath the earth, and it took, well, I mean, it did took Devil Jin, Devil Kazuya, and Heihachi to do it, and Asuka, I believe, was Asuka part of that? I don't know, something like that. But, yeah, he, he did it. So, I mean... But yeah, Jin's got a lot of fucking firepower. And plus, like I said, Ogre breathes fire. Jin beat him, and that's before even discovering the Devil Gene. That's before even discovering its power. And that's after he was weakened, after a fight with Kazuya and Heihachi. And, you know, when he was just 19. This Yeah, Jin's fought a lot harder people than Kyo, and, uh without any of this power, and, or not, not necessarily that he's fought people harder than Keo, but he's fought people better than, basically better than himself, and I would say before Devil Jin, Keo's probably better than Jin, uh, but like I said, Jin has beaten, under way worse circumstances, Jin has beaten very, very strong people, before even using this, you know, you know, the Devil Gene, and before getting the Power Gloves on, I believe. So, you know, full strength right off the bat, plus Devil Gene, Jin's gonna take this. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm hoping I can cover Wolverine Raiden, I really am hoping that, but if not gonna be a while I've had a great time doing this while I can uh I'm I'm definitely I'm not gonna stop I'm definitely gonna keep going at some point it's just as it's just when but I guess you know until next we meet anyway it's Rebel Engine 95 see ya